supposed to be vlogging this week, already off to a bit of an iffy start since I forgot to film the most of the day. But hey, hi, how are you doing? My name is Kira. I'm going to be taking you through a week in the life of a PhD student. And I suppose a bit of a disclaimer, I, on top of my full-time PhD, which is in machine learning, I also run a business, which is a speech and drama school based in Dublin, Ireland. And then I have my social media as well. So you'll see throughout the week, there are a lot of different pieces to that puzzle. I also have, you know, a life and you'll see that too, hopefully. But this morning, was a weird one. I woke up really early, just been waking up early, not intentionally this morning, but my partner was off the airport early and I think part of that apprehension was there. And I just spent a bit of time like doing some planning, getting things off my mind this morning, which was nice, doing some journaling. And then I had a couple of hours to do some deep focused work to organize some results that I had to share with my supervisor ahead of a meeting that we had at 10 a.m. This is a meeting where I was presenting some initial results and basically we were deciding, will we go ahead with this work? And essentially deciding, are we going to go ahead and try and publish some of that work? And ideally that's going to be in a conference that will be having the deadline mid-August. And my supervisor is away the first two weeks of August. So it means I really need to work hard over the next couple of weeks to get the results and everything. Then I took a couple of hours to almost go in reverse. And I did a little bit of administrative work, doing some organizing for the academic term coming up in autumn for the drama school. So that was basically just contacting all of our venues to find out when there is availability and booking in certain dates, then starting to text some of the staff that I have and seeing when they're gonna be available to make sure that all lines up. I'm basically just doing some planning with regards to that. Went on a nice sort of loop and got some lunch out and some coffee. Then I came back and I spent a couple of hours editing my video, which you should see coming up sometime this week. I've been trying to spend a bit more time editing my videos recently to sort of just give you guys a bit more because I know I have just been doing the bare minimum to keep my channel alive so far this year and now I'm at a point where I can do a little bit more to make them a bit more visually appealing. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying the new style of editing so far. It is 5.30 and I've been working a lot of the day. I'm going to basically clean up and have some dinner and get packed because I'm going to be staying in my family home tonight and then going to my dad's house in Galway for a couple of nights and I just need to get organized and get ready to go. Well, I had an awful night's sleep. Just had like really bad pains, like bad bloating and then bad cramps as well. And then, you know, you know when you're like not feeling well and then you're awake for hours. And like I woke up yesterday morning, I actually think at around 3.45, I didn't get back to sleep. And I was up last night until like 1 a.m. And I was like not particularly tired, just feeling a lot of pain and just wanting to go asleep though. It was not pleasant. Yeah, it's just 10 to nine now. I'm going to start working pretty soon. I'm here in the family house for 
just today minding Lola. I came over last night after yoga just because it was handy and because no one else was home for Lola, so. Well, of course I didn't film anything to the camera talking for the rest of the week, so it's Sunday. I'm gonna briefly fill you in on what I actually did the rest of the week and then put together all the clips. Sorry, I'm a bad vlogger. I didn't really tell you what I was actually working on this week and I, I sort of told you that I was working on a project and I was meant to sort of get a lot of the programming done this week but unfortunately after Tuesday the server went down so I haven't been able to get back into my programming since then which is a bit of a nightmare so I've basically PhD wise just been working on project planning for that and basically getting it to the point where the second I log into the server I'll be able to just do the tasks I know exactly what I need to do so it's about getting the tasks almost 80% done before I even start them because they're formulated a lot better and then I started working on some of the writing like putting together notes for how I think the paper will go so that I can get as organized as possible without having any of the major work done. Then in terms of the business work I was largely working on a big notion dashboard for all of our classes coming up to the autumn term so having tables for the students registered, the teachers assigned to different classes, the classes themselves, the locations and having all of these different views so like all of the admin will be a lot easier in that way and then separately setting up like an admin dashboard so that as emails come in whatever becomes a project and tasks go into there so that our email inbox can stop acting like a to-do list which it sort of has been and I didn't really film a lot of that so in terms of the fun things that I got up to on Wednesday we headed out for the day to a place in Galway called Barna and we went to this craft village, which is always a really fun time. We went for nice walks in the wooded area nearby and along the sort of coast. We went to this really nice restaurant called O'Grady's on the Pier. On Thursday I spent a lot of the morning working on those tasks but then the afternoon was spent heading out for a walk. Then heading into Galway in the sort of afternoon evening to see some of the arts festival works. and get a nice meal before we went to see a play called The Tin Soldier by Hans Christian Andersen.
the way that it was done was really just stylized movement. There was a really good actor who was working on very sort of puppety contemporary dance and had a lot of really, really amazing movement throughout the play. And then there was a main actor who was doing so much voice work that was really impressive. And they did sort of a, a ventriloquist style where the actor was talking and the sort of dancer and mover was move mouthing. And you wouldn't have known who was talking, except that at the end, eventually the puppet sort of laid down and the man kept talking. And it was really incredible because he was so straight faced, but doing all of this creative speaking so it was really interesting to watch and then on friday i had a webinar in the morning for this website update that we're doing for the business website then i had a bit more work to do for the theater school before just spending the afternoon relaxing and heading out for a nice walk before heading home on the train. On the train I got some more work done for PhD. Didn't really film much over the weekend because yesterday I just had a nice day with my mom and my sister and my aunt. We went to my sister's wedding dress try on and just went for a nice breakfast and then Jack was home for holidays so we just spent the evening together. That is pretty much it for my week. Um, it was definitely a different week in the life, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways, and I'll see you all in the next video.